Well, for me, this was the obvious uh, choice for the first track of the album. Uh, both the disobedience and the intro, I or one. Uh, I actually composed the uh, disobedience track first and uh, the intro a bit after the chat, and it kind of also was obvious that they should be tied together on the album too. But uh, uh, and uh, the disobedience track it, itself, it's kind of nicely uplifting, so I think it works really well for the uh, start of the album and it's ending on the really long uh, note that Emily sings, it kind of gives a nice touch of drama to the album already in the start. I think disobedience tells quite a bit about Lillian, or any idealist and dreamer. Lillian is always defying rules and norms of society, mainly because she sees them as unjust or ridiculous otherwise. And as we learned on the first album, she's not too eager to follow the rules of the Grey Realms either. Mm. I think it's also about Lillian better realizing that it's not all her fault, uh, that society is just fucked up in so many ways uh, and it's okay to be angry about it. Well, Waves has been my favorite track uh, of the album for a while now and uh, it was super fun to compose I loved playing with uh, melodies and different kind of ideas and trying things out with key guitars and keyboards and stuff like that so um, there's a lot going on in the song and it kind of describes our music quite well and, and uh, the song is super energetic and, and uh, I'm really looking forward to playing this one live. Waves tells about sailing the stormy seas of life itself, uh, about the ups and downs. On one hand there are those elements of sadness and disappointment, but then again I think it's almost a feel-good song. Mm, like, hell yeah, I've been through this and that, and here I'm standing, ha! Um, and in the outro, we are reminded not to revenge evil with evil, mm, to stay kind and not to become the monsters ourselves. <laughs> 